Hey everyone, welcome back to the movie studio. Today I'm going to be doing some uh, something a little bit different. So I'm going to be talking about Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the very first Harry Potter movie. I'm going to be talking about the book and movie, and we're just going to do a podcast about it. And I am here with guest star Paul Dezay. Hey everybody. Um, he was on our Clone Wars podcast. We have decided not to do that, but we will be starting a new podcast in the um in August, but I'll, there'll be more details on that later. So let's go ahead and get into it. So before we get started, um, what were your, what did you like about the um, book and movie, like as a whole? Well, I love that it introduced these characters. Uh, it present, pers, uh, presented a coming of age story of uh, a young man who is being bullied by his family and he finds himself amongst people like him what do you think of it yeah it was it was honestly a lot of fun i'll actually talk a little bit about like like um starting over with the series in a second but i really did enjoy getting to read the illustrated book and then watch the movie um so yeah we'll go ahead and talk about some background info so pretty much we started the series over officially we're going to read the book and watch the movie with each of them and we will do a podcast on them hopefully um, so pretty much we're starting the book series over. Um, I watched the movies and I read the first book, but it was a while ago. Um, so we're kind of just going to start all the way over and yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun to, um, to do these podcasts. Um, so we'll, we're going to talk a little bit about the background info of the series. So pretty much Harry Potter is, a, is about a kid with magical powers who is abused by his family who goes to Hogwarts, the school of magic, where he befriends Ron and Hermione as they solve the dark secrets of the school together, while also facing sports, schoolwork, and stress from nearby peers. So you think that this sums it up pretty well? I think so. Yeah. So I guess kind of like, so pretty much before we're talking about the premise, like I'm sure everyone's heard of Harry Potter before. It's a very, very popular, there's very popular series, and I'm sure everyone's heard of Hogwarts before they're talking about doing a Harry Potter TV series, but that might be delayed because they've because a lot of things are delayed right now. Um, but overall, what do you think of like Hogwarts as a whole? Would would it be a school that you want to go to or not? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a pretty cool school. I love the you know the English architecture, old castle like you know vibe and um, it's mystical, but yet yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it'd be a cool school to go to. What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely a fun school to go to. I mean, with a type of school like that, it feels like when, when it comes to magic, like of course, of course, this is a this is a movie or a book, but it feels like it would be you could mess up really easily, you know, with like the type of thing that you have to do. So I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the illustrated book. So we got the illustrated book around the time where it first came out. We just haven't done anything with it with it yet. So we pulled it out. And we really like the illustrated book. It adds the perfect amount of pictures and it shortens the book up a ton. It makes it enjoyable to read when you have the audio on as well. So what did you think of the illustrated book? Well, I, li I like the illustrated. I like looking at the pictures. The, the, the first four books are, are released as illustrated books. Mm -hmm. And there's about one coming out every year around Thanksgiving. Uh, so we've only purchased the first one, but we plan to purchase them all. Uh, and collect them as a set. The illustrated version is is really cool. It contains the full story, and uh, we listened to it as Micah just said um, using audio. We checked out the audio via the library, and uh, we listened to it. And that's pretty cool, just to sit back and take a look at the pictures and have somebody read it to you. Um, yeah, and I loved I loved the pictures. The artwork in the book was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was really fun to be able to uh read the book, the illustrated book and be able to um uh listen to the audio because we do a lot of audio books in our house. Um also somebody could eat, so say if the movies weren't invented, I'm sure that like once the illustrated edition, once the illustrated book come out, they can make an animated movie on it. Sure. If they really wanted to. But of course, like the movies came out long before the illustrated editions right. came out, so That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about the character. So pretty much we'll kind of go back and forth. So I'll talk about Harry. So yeah. So pretty much Harry Potter is a boy who has magical powers and attends Hogwarts. He is famous to everyone and famous meaning in some good, some bad and discovers his parents went to Hogwarts and he has a scar on his forehead. Okay. 
Yeah, Ron Weasley, he's a goofball. He is very likable and he is known. Uh, they have a lot of siblings who have attended Hogwarts. He becomes Harry's best friend. I like Ron. Yeah, he's definitely very funny. And they, I, I think they would choose the perfect actor uh, to portray him. I also think that adding the red hair is a nice touch in the Weasley family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so Hermione Granger is a teacher's pet and know-it-all, but she befriends Harry and Ron, and her teacher attitude makes things even funnier to see. Yep, she's pretty smart. Mm-hmm. She's a book smart, but does magic doesn't come easily to her. So she is more of the book smarts. Yeah. But I like her a lot. Uh, and then Malfoy uh, and Neville. Uh, these are two kids who are Harry's classmates. He despises Malfoy and Neville. I mean, he's interesting, all right? Kind of clumsy. Yeah. Uh, we don't, uh, interesting character. I think that later on, the like, I think that later on we'll probably see more of him. But, like, here, he's just kind of, like, I mean, just a little bit, like, Clumsy. I guess it just adds some fun yes, to it. Yes, absolutely. And fun. then the teachers, they're all suspicious in their own ways. Yeah, they're all so, different. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to talk about um, just the premise. So in the first movie, Harry is suffering miserably at his house with his uncle, aunt, and cousin Dudley, who is a brat, by the way. Absolutely. I think we all knew that. Absolutely. Yep. Uh-huh. He gets several invitations to Hogwarts. But several. Yeah. Like many. Thousands. Mm-hmm. Yep. But they are burned by his uncle before he can even read them. Yep. Hagrid, or Hagrid, whatever, comes by and informs him about his accepting into Hogwarts. He accepts and befriends Ron and Hermione. Their peers include Neville and Malfoy. There are some teachers, including Professor McGonagall, do not spell her name right, but I don't care, Snape and Quirrell, along with Hagrid. They uncover the mystery of the Sorcerer's Stone and Nicholas Flamel. So, what are your thoughts about the story overall in the first Yeah, movie? I think it's a really good story overall. It gives, you know, it, there's a mystery behind it. You know, who's the bad guy and there's surprise in it. And we don't want to spoil the, the, the plot here for everyone who's no spoilers, but, uh, it definitely is a mystery. And Ron, Hermione and Harry, of course, are the ones to solve the mystery, which is really yeah. cool. Going into making this, I try my best to make a good summary. I think that what I did is a good summary because the introduction, because I'm not going to like say the reveals in the thing. This is kind of like a spoiler free podcast it's supposed to be. I mean, there might be a couple spoilers, but overall, it's going to be spoiler free. Okay. Um, but I really liked how in the um, bu- well, in the book and movie, so there's like that big monster guy who came into the bathroom uh, that one time with Harry uh, Ron, is the yeah, ogre, right? the ogre, yeah. Um, and that was very interesting. And what is cool is that so like they get points taken off, so it's di- it's a different system. And pretty much they're like five points taken off and they say that they're at the whole book and movie. I'm sure they're tired of saying it because of all the trouble that the kids get into. Mm-hmm, right. um, okay. So overall, I think it's a very good story. It's definitely a good introduction to introduce the characters and the mystery is definitely a slow burn. I like that. I mean, there's two. So there's, there's the Sorcerer's Stone, which is like the overall thing. Nicholas Fomel is also one. And there's like the, um, the mirror that Harry sees his parents in. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So now we're going to talk about some differences from the book and movie and then just some closing thoughts. So these are like, I feel like the movie did a great job with matching up with the book. I thought there were just a couple of different things in there. So the first thing is, is that um, in the book, Harry goes school supplies shopping with Hagrid and then he heads home for a while and then he goes back to Hogwarts. In the movie, he goes straight from school supplies shopping to Hogwarts. That was just a little difference that I noticed. Did you, did you see that? Too? Yeah, I, I didn't notice that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the book, Harry meets Malfoy at a rope store, uh, where he's shopping for school supplies in the movie. They don't meet until they, after they arrive in school. There's, yeah, there was a lot of little differences. Yeah. But not, nothing really major in my right. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing that much major. Okay. So, um, some awards. So I put this segment in on purpose just for something fun. So the awards are my favorite moment is Harry, Ron, and Hermione all working together to solve the mysteries. Yep. Agreed. Favorite characters, Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Dudley in a weird way. Well, I think Dudley is just Dudley just funny, even though he's a big bully and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But my most shocking moment is um, Quirrell ends up kind of being like behind the whole thing. Which I was not expecting that at the very end because we all thought it was Snape because you, we can't really trust Snape, you know? So I was kind of surprised in that big plot twist at the end. And overall, we give it an A. It was a very, very good, solid opening movie. And we are really excited to um, to continue review, to continue doing these podcasts. I think that 
they're a lot of fun to do and Harry Potter is such a good franchise. So any closing thoughts you want to give? Hey, I'm excited to purchase the second illustrated book and uh, read that after we move. Looking forward to that. Um, and then watching the second movie with you. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're really excited to, um, we're really excited to continue reviewing it. We think that it would be a lot of fun and all that kind of stuff. Also, I am trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of July. So please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. We are at 95 right now. And I think that that's a good reasonable goal to gain five subscribers in a little bit over a month. So yeah, that is my goal right there. Also, something I wanted to, um, Something I wanted to mention about Harry Potter is um, some something I did something I did notice is, is that um, the family um, struggles. So, like for example, Amp, so Aunt Petunia and um, uh, Harry's mom are sisters. So th you can definitely see that there's no love lost between them. Like something happened, you know. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. I never really thought about it before. It's pretty cool. Yeah. They have some backstory there. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, and something actually we did not talk about that um, I wish probably we did. Their the beginning scene when Hagrid and Dumbledore and McGonagall, I think, dropped Harry off at um, the um, the um, Vernon's house. So I thought we that, 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 that was a good, important scene. I liked how they did a time jump. Because it would have been kind of weird to, like, not do a time jump, you know, just keep it at that thing. Because otherwise, what's the point of seeing Harry as a baby, you know, for a full movie? Like, and I'm just glad that they did the time jump because it just makes things a little bit more interesting. So what do you think of that beginning scene? Mm-hmm. It was a good scene. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that I put it in because otherwise, like, I don't know. I'm glad the first chapter of the book is about, like, that scene. So I'm glad that they were able to put in that scene because it makes things a lot, way more sense. So, anyways, I think that is going to be the end of our video. So, yeah. And any closing thoughts? Okay. So, yeah. Um, comment down below if you what your thoughts are about Harry Potter. It'll be really cool to hear your thoughts about the um, first movie and book. Anyways, thank you for joining us, Paul Dose. Thank you. See it. Thanks, everyone, for watching Movie Studio. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And bye.